For today's video, I'm going to be making a banana muffins with no added sugar. I know it probably sounds too good to be true, but there's a secret trick that I will teach you later on the video that makes them super delicious. Also, this video is a collab with Emily Styles. She posts all sorts of fun YouTube videos, so make sure to go check out her channel and subscribe. The link is in the description box. I really hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. This is the recipe I'm going to be using. I'll also have it in the description box and I'm going to be tweaking the recipe a little bit. So the secret to these no sugar banana muffins is to caramelize the bananas so it tastes like there's sugar in them. Caramelizing the bananas makes them super sweet and makes muffins taste really good. Caramelizing bananas is super simple. All you have to do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees, cut the banana and put it on a baking sheet. Also make sure the bananas are pretty ripe so these ones had some brown spots on them. and you just put them in the oven. Halfway through cooking time, I flipped them over a little bit and just moved them around, and then I put them back in the oven. For more detailed instructions on how to caramelize bananas, you can look it up on the internet, that's what I did. And this is what they look like after they're done caramelizing. I know they look kind of weird and gross, but they smell super sweet and they also taste really sweet. Now for the actual muffins, I'm gonna be using two different kinds of gluten-free flour. I'm gonna be using coconut flour and tapioca flour. And then I'm gonna add in the baking soda and whisk it all together. And then I'm gonna melt the butter. So I cut up two sticks of butter and melted them in the microwave. I'm doubling this recipe, so that's why I'm using so much butter. And then it's time to assemble all of the wet ingredients. So I put the caramelized bananas on a plate so I can mash them up. And then I poured in the melted butter, the vanilla, mixed it together, and then put in the mashed bananas. So then I mixed together the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients, and finally I chopped one and a half cups of walnuts and put that in the batter as well. I had to taste the batter and it was really good. It really tasted like there was sugar in there. It was really sweet. Halfway through baking time, I switched the muffin trays so they baked more evenly and then they turned out beautifully. Taste test. Those are really good. I like the crunch from the walnuts. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna try out this sugar-free banana muffin recipe for yourself. I highly recommend it. It's super delicious. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>